What up, TTC? It's Josh back here, man. This is my uh, week five. This is my preview video for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, Pittsburgh Steelers come off a 26-9 victory over the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore to, to improve to 3-1. The Jacksonville Jaguars are coming off an overtime loss to the Jets. Um, no hate this week. You don't have to see me on here yelling and clowning this week. Uh, I don't have a lot of hate for the Jaguars. Um, the Jaguars are an improving team. They have a, a pretty up-and-coming defense. They have a good running back. Uh, they can make plays. Um, and we know what we got. But let's talk about this game. Let's talk about the game. Um, to beat Jacksonville, I think we start with a running game. And once we get the running game dominant, like we can not just this game, but on a consistent basis, uh, it's definitely going to open up for the passing game, and it should be make the passing game better. If Ben Roethlisberger can just get the ball where it needs to be, all of a sudden, uh, I really feel like Ben's my dude. But I really feel like Ben Roethlisberger is finally starting to show his age a little bit. Uh, we got to get the ball to AB. Martavius, Juju, everybody. Because they do have a pretty good, they got an up and coming defense, like I said, but I do feel confident that we can run the ball on this defense. Uh, defensively, step one, shut down the running game. Fournette's a good back. Uh, if you didn't, you follow football, you know he's a good back. He was a good back, he was a beast at LSU, and now he's doing his thing in Jacksonville. Uh, I think if we. Shut that down and put the game in Blake Bortles' hands. It's a wrap. It's a win. Also, I think the advantage, we're playing at Heinz Field, and we don't lose there often. Um, but I feel like if we shut down the running game, like I said, and make Blake Bortles win it, it's a wrap. Uh, you know, I don't think our defense is getting enough credit that it deserves. Uh, I just look for this to be a really good game, though. Uh, I see a lot of Steeler fans saying this, this is going to be a blowout. And I see a lot of Jaguar fans just talking not, a lot of nonsense. Uh, we know who reps the Jaguars up in here. T. Kirk, shout out to you, sir, repping your team. Uh, yeah, but I like, I like this is going to be a really good football game. Uh, but I just feel like the edge goes to Pittsburgh. I'm sorry. I mean, you know I'm going to say it. Um, I just think we got too much, and I don't think they're ready yet, and I don't think they have the quarterback that will ever be ready. Uh, I just don't. Uh, let's talk about history between these teams, man. Um, you know, I'm a lot older than most of y'all in here. But when I was a teenager, excuse me. When I was a uh, teenager in the 90s, and uh, we, were all, we were all in the AFC Central, the four teams at the, in the AFC North now, the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Houston Oilers who become the Tennessee Oilers who become the Tennessee Titans. Uh, back in the 90s when Tom Coughlin was there, the Steelers and Jaguars had some division battles, man. Uh, great games that nobody ever talks about, and if you Younger Steeler fans don't know about it, man. Go check it out, man. They got they had some classy games back then. Um, yeah, good shit, man. Good games. Uh, but Jacksonville, man, they struggled for like the past decade. Um, they came in our house and took one from us. Uh, Tomlin's first year in the uh, you know his first playoff game, they came in Hinesville and took one. But uh, like I said, not a lot of hate for the Jaguars. Um, you know, but I know this will be a good game. Uh, I know it'll be a physical game. But like I said, I just think that the advantage definitely goes to Pittsburgh. Um, you know, it's just, I'm not taking nothing away from nobody. It's just really hard for me to be, like, concerned when I play the AFC South. It just always is, man. Um, but I, I think we'll take care of Jacksonville. I definitely, if we shut down the run, we will definitely get some sacks and we will definitely get some interceptions. 
Uh, but if they get that running game going and force some turnovers, the Steelers could be in trouble, man. They really could. Um, but, yeah, like I said, this is a non-hate week. It's a lot, this video is going to be a lot shorter. Uh, you know, not a lot of drama or hate with the Jaguars. And T. Kirk seems like a pretty cool cat. Um, I don't know if I did this already, but if I did, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to the uh, to Beltway. He reps the Ravens. Uh, shout out to you, sir. Much respect after watching your crow. Uh, and you rep the Ravens well. It's good to have somebody in here rep the Ravens well. Because I do believe, I don't know, I ain't been on YouTube in a few hours. But I do believe of like 5 o'clock, uh, the Red Zone still ain't did their crow. I guess they're feeling real salty right now. I don't know. Must suck just wanting to know your team just going to dissolve. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but... Yeah, man, this Jaguars-Steelers game should be good. Um, I look for a good game. I definitely look for my Steelers to win. Um, like I said, shut down the run, get pressure on Bortles. That takes care of their offense, and I believe we start with trying to run the ball, not with just Le'Veon, add a little James Conner in there, too. Um, injury front, I'm not real sure about Marcus Gilbert, how he's coming along. Uh, Eli Rogers was benched. Uh, everybody knows I'm a huge Eli Rogers fan from Louisville, but he deserved to be benched. And I think Juju will be is going to be way better than him. That's just my opinion. Um, but I look for a fun game, physical AFC football in Heinz Field. Uh, like I said, no hate, no disrespect to the Jaguars. Uh, so this is a non-hate week, but we're coming. And after this, we'll be 4-1. Uh, be sitting at 4-1. A lot of interesting shit going on in the AFC. But what all you fans need to fucking realize, it's only week four. I see teams already writing off New England. All right? Nothing has ever been accomplished in four weeks of football. Sorry, it hasn't. But, uh... Yeah, man, I ain't got much else to add to this video. It's a short one. Um, shout out to all my stealing brothers in here. Y'all know who y'all are. Uh, all you all you dudes, man. Uh, and shout out to everybody that watches the videos. Uh, I know I pissed a lot. I know I lost a lot of subs a couple months ago after uh, the Kaepernick video. But I just, it's just crazy, man. Like... If someone don't agree with how you feel, you're automatically wrong, but it is what it is. I just make videos for the TTC and the Steeler fans that enjoy watching my videos, me coming on here giving my opinions. But, uh, shit, I'm out. Uh, Y'all take care of each other, man. And I'll, pro I'll see you guys Sunday after the game, man. Go Steelers. Peace.